All right, we've finished our app, so it's working. And now we can do some small adjustments to the app to make it even better for us. So something you should have in mind is that when you code and develop in React, you should always do some type checking of your props you're sending into your components. We can do this with something called prop types in React. With prop types, you can check that different props you send to your components are the correct ones. So how do we do this? Well, firstly, we can import something that's called prop types. We import prop types from prop types, like so. And if we go to the react.js.org, you can see that there's a lot of checking we can do here. We can check for an array, for a boolean, for a function, a number, object, a string, a symbol. You can even check different elements and a lot of things here. So I recommend you go to this page and read more about it if you want to know everything you can do. You can even set a default prop value if you don't send in a prop, so it will use this value instead. We are in our moviethumb.js file, our moviethumb component. We have imported our prop types from prop types. And how do we check that we send in the right prop types? Well, if we go last before the export in our component, we just write moviethumb, that's our component name, dot prop types equals and curly braces. So this is an object we're creating here. And for this one, we're receiving three props and we want to check that we're receiving the correct props. So first of all, we have an image as a prop. So we write image and then we write prop types with the capital letters on P and T. And we want to check that this is a string. The next one is our movie ID. So we write prop types again, dot number, because this is a number we're sending in. And we have our movie name. So we write prop types yet again, dot string, because this is a string. And this is all you have to do to check the props we're sending in. So if we go back to our browser and our app, we can see that everything is working now. If we reload, we are sending in everything correctly. But if we want to change this one, for example, we change the image to a number instead, like so, we save it, we go back to our app, you'll see that we'll receive an error. Failed prop type, invalid prop image of type string supplied to movie thumb, expected a number. It will warn us that we're sending in the incorrect prop. And this is very handy if we want to catch bugs. So we can do one more here. Let's go to our for call grid.js and we start with importing prop types. Import prop types from prop types, just like before. We go down before the export and create an object for call grid dot prop types equals curly braces because we're creating an object here. We have a prop type that's called header prop types dot string because the header is a string. We have loading prop types and this one is a boolean so we write boo like so. We save, we go back to our app and we still have our fail prop on uh, the movie thumb. We can change this one back to a string, like so. And there it won't fail us. So if we go back to our for call grid and we change this one to a string and save, and you'll see that we'll get an error. It's really handy for us when we try to catch bugs. We go back to a bool for this one, save, and go back and check that everything's fine. You could also write dot is required. This is doing just what it says. It has to be required. So use is required if you really, really need the prop. So save this one. And it's still working because we're sending in the prop correctly.
So this was a short one about prop types. As I said, I recommend you to read more on the reactjs.org and you can see every type check you can do with the props here. You should always use prop types in development. It won't affect the production build as it's only useful in the development. So always use prop types.